leaving. What is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duckwalk and we're going on a mission. The great mission. When you start living your dream, you never know what, where you will end up. And right now we're on our bus to New York and who knows where we're headed. We are going on tour following the spider rockets. They came down, I met up with Craig the photographer in October and now here we are in um, April and we're getting ready to go on tour to the Midwest. We're going to be checking out some cool cities but the first one we're going to is New York. Follow me along on the dream. A couple of the other people that if you follow you might get to check out. You might get to see Puddle of Mud, Saving Abel, Tantric, and maybe even Helena from Spider Rockets. But you'll definitely be seeing a lot of me and a lot of that uh, ugly guy Craig. So, for the dream. You. boys we made it to New York City Port Authority now we are going to do our transfer uh, transfer to Binghamton and now after that we're gonna check Craig out we should be there who knows sometime tonight and then we can get on the journey but so far we're rocking of the show. Where is she at? Too she's busy? She's in French right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's a French artist. What does she make these out of? She means they different. This one is plexiglass. Okay. And she has some that are made out of polyester, aluminum, bronze, aluminum? and marble. Is that aluminum back here? Yes. Okay. Okay. Give him uh, his first shot to showcase his face. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For Everybody coming. needs. What is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duckwalk and we're here in Binghamton, New York. We're with the legend Craig and we're about to go on tour with the Spider Rockets, Puddle of Mud, Saving Abel and Tantric. Right now it is Wednesday morning and we are making our way to Missouri now, Joplin, Missouri and we got a thousand miles to go. So follow along for the journey, for the dream. Just want to thank everybody who's all the bands that have supported me, you know, and I was just some dude showing up at a bar with a camera and letting me do my thing and performing so well and making me feel like family. Special shout out to Steve and Noran and Jess and um, everybody at Proud Mary's and North Step family. Dave, David Earl, David Daniels, you guys are awesome. Um, and a special shout out to all the bands that have hired me. Um, to the Mutts, to the Creds, to Ill Rendition. Um, we got $2 Fun. You know, they hired me to go up to Voltage for my first shoot outside um, Proud Mary's in Philadelphia, and that brought a lot of confidence to me. I felt like maybe I could do this. So I really appreciate them having the confidence in me to do that. Um, Shout out to Gutter Drunk, who without them and their music, I probably wouldn't, you know, be standing here today. And most importantly, the boys from Nub TV. Any claims you want to make, Craig? I'm not responsible for my actions. <laughs> That's as good as a claim as any. All right, see you on the road. Phew. Hey 
boys a little update right now we made it through the state of New York we made it through a tiny little bit in Pennsylvania and we are making our way through Ohio right now we got stuck with a little bit of traffic in Cleveland um, but that was like around 3 o'clock in the afternoon it cleared out a little bit um, right now it's just about getting dark another hour or two until dark time and we are just outside Columbus right now Ohio and we are going to keep trucking to the next state Indiana just want to give you guys a little update of what's going on I'm enjoying the dream seeing the country even got to check out a cool little nice little urbex um, spot when we went to turn off and get gas um, gas is like hovering like around two, 250, 260 a gallon, you know, so we're driving around 3,000 miles total, so hopefully we can keep that price, you know, right there and it doesn't go up uh, any higher. But, can't wait to keep going. We just took a little stop at this rest stop right here, stretch the legs, take a piss, and onward and outward, so keep it going. Everybody follow your dreams. It doesn't come overnight, but if you keep working hard enough, you might be there one day for the boys. You. All right, what is up, boys? We are checking back in with you now. Right now, we are at a rest stop. We're calling it quits for tonight. It's getting late. It's about 10 o'clock. We are just outside Indianapolis. We are trying to get to where the time zone goes to central time and that's what, right when you get out of Indiana. Had like another 144 miles to go. We were gonna try and do it, but decided not to do it. Try to just get a little bit of sleep for the night and call it a day for until tomorrow, wake up early. We got about another seven hours till we get to where we need to go to in Joplin, and we gotta be at the venue at three o'clock. So that should give us plenty enough time to wake up, do what we got to do, and get there. We're also going to be gaining an hour when we get to that central time zone point. So overall today, a lot of driving, a lot of fun. We went through New York. We went through a little bit of Pennsylvania by Erie. We went through Ohio. And we are in Indiana right now, working our way through Indiana. Once we get through Indiana, we can get to Missouri. So that's the claim. Um, saw a lot of awesome um, abandoned urbex places to go check out next time I'm around. A lot of beautiful um, nature photography things that I'd like to check out. If I had a little bit more time next time, you know, and I wasn't rushing around and I was on my own time and not me and Craig's time, I would definitely stop and check some of these places out that we passed. A lot of awesome old farms with old farm equipment and the change of the season, I went from being in New York where there was snow on the ground, then we got to around Cleveland and the sun came out and you had to wear short sleeves. And now it's dark, it's getting a little cold, so it is what it is. Um, I also saw a big witch in the sky today in the clouds, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, enjoying myself, checking out the scenery. Also saw a beautiful sunset today. We ran into a little bit of bad weather, and once we got through that weather and came out on the other side, there was a beautiful sunset. Um, I was driving, Craig took a bunch of pictures, but it was cool, um, really enjoyed it. I took that as a really good omen from our trip and what we got going on for the rest of it because the universe wouldn't have blessed us like that with such magnificent beauty. Um, but basically, just want to give a shout out to all the people at home, everybody who supports me, and just letting you guys know what's going on and what I'm thinking about. Um, it's been pretty, pretty good driving wise. The only time you come across a little bit of traffic is when you go through these big cities and then once it clears out again, then you're all good. It's uh, perfect. And uh, after that, That's about, after that, that's about it. I'm trying to think anything else I want to say to you guys before I end this. 
basically it's you got to follow your dreams so last year I started showed up I met Craig at Halloween right after I shot gutter drunk and Steve asked me to come back for spider rockets and I shot them too that's how I met Steve and that's how I met Craig and now we're on this journey Craig's trying to school me on this whole uh, live photography deal you know we're gonna be getting inside the pit and we're gonna be checking some things out and it can only make my game better for everybody else and all my other supporters so just want to thank you everyone for giving me the opportunity to do this and it's for the dream see you in the a.m. when that sun comes up you Oh shit, oh, what is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional. We are here for the wake up in the morning last night. Craig couldn't sleep too much when we got into the rest stop and uh, tried to turn it down at like 11. He ended up going and driving a bunch of more miles. We made it into the time zone difference out into Missouri and this morning we w when we woke up uh, like when the sun was up like at six o'clock uh, we drove through St. Louis got a couple shots um, we're about like five hours away right now from Joplin we just stopped at Denny's um, and we're stopping at this Flying J they had really good gas price we're at 243 right now um, per gallon so that's pretty good stopped at Denny's had a good meal uh, we had a really cool waiter um, took a nice shit this morning so that's always good I was feeling a little fucked up you know sleeping in the truck I, I actually slept wonderful in the truck my t it I could recline all the way back I just had my shirt over my head and I was out for a couple hours. Craig said he even, he couldn't sleep too good that he woke up and got out the car a couple of times and I didn't even move. He also said at one point, I woke up and I said, are you okay? And about 30 seconds later, he's like, are you talking to me? And I was already passed out asleep. So I was talking in my sleep and I said, was I asking you if you were okay? And I think I come, came to the conclusion, while I was dreaming, I was asking myself if I was okay. And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. And I went right back to sleep. So that's part of the dream. Um, Living reality, waking up. We're about to go and be in Joplin, Missouri. We're going to shoot the spider rockets, uh, saving Abel and Tantric tonight. And it's going to be fucking awesome. I can't wait to meet up with the band. And I've had a blast so far just enjoying it and I'm about to take the reins of the wheel get us pretty you know drive another couple hours and then we'll switch off alrighty you see you guys at the next stop what a beautiful day we are about 60 miles from Joplin and we had to stop at at Hood's truck stop, awesome in there. The only thing is I don't like these places too much. They smell like institutions and remind me of being in jail or rehab. So, onward and upward. You. All right, boys, we made it. We are in Joplin and there is the place. You.
right, we made it. We're in Joplin, Missouri after a long 18 hour drive time. But we made it, we left at 9 a.m. from Binghamton, New York and we made it to Joplin, Missouri uh, right around one o'clock in the afternoon um, the next day on Thursday. Here we are, Thursday, April 19th and we are in Joplin and we are here to see the spider rockets. We're here to see Saving Abel and Tantric, but most specifically, we're here to live the dream. And I just want to let all you guys know, this started with me about a year ago when I went to Proud Mary's and I showed up and Spider Rockets were there and I shot them and I met Craig. And now here we are in Missouri, living the American dream. So, just want to let everybody know that all it takes is a little bit of dedication, a little bit of a hard work, a little bit of knowing what you kind of want to do and feeling through it and just trusting and just going for it. You know, I didn't really care what anybody else was going to say. I was just going to go out there and try and do my best. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just out here trying my best. And I've done pretty good in over a year, you know, and here we are doing this. Got to go on an awesome adventure. I never thought I'd get to go on just even a couple weeks ago. It's crazy how life can change when you have an open outlook. Um, driving today was beautiful. Uh, we woke up, you know, real early. I, I slept really well and I drove a lot of the way here today. Craig finished it off, made it here. We got into our little budget motel, which is behind me right there which is like right across the street from the venue. Like you can't get any better than that. The other thing that's awesome is we actually beat the band here. We beat Spider Rockets. They were supposedly, they left a day before us and we beat them here. How about that? Two uh, photojournalists making their way here before the band. That's how good we are. Or. I don't know, our shots will have to prove it, not our road capabilities, but um, other than that, it's a beautiful day in this existence, as you can see. I mean, there's not a lot more, you know, to this venue. We'll get to go inside and maybe check it out. I don't see the thing is with this is I'm allowed to document my experience, but I'm not really allowed. To, I can't document anything with the spider rockets because it has to go through them and their band management and everything has to be okayed. So this is just my experience on my tour about living the dream and it's supposed to be, I just wanna, I'm doing this to inspire everyone out there that if you really want to do something, there's nothing holding you back. You need to have the freedom to dream and you need to go out there and do it. You know, first of all, you have to have a dream. And for a lot of, you know, I believe for a lot of us, We've been beat down enough that we forgot about that and even didn't, didn't even know that we could. And then when I met up with the boys from Nub TV and Tucker and just talking with them and seeing what they do, it like t I totally inspired me that I, you know, I was like, holy shit, you know, like really. And it wasn't, it's not just them, it's a lot of people, but they, they really helped me and I really appreciate everything that the boys done because without them, you know, I really don't think I'd be here right now. You know, they really got the ball, you know, rolling for me. You know, I got my nickname, the Mop God. Started taking a lot more confidence, you know, being able to go out there, you know, not scared of, you know, whatever, you know, like other people, you know, just go out there and do me and live my existence on this reality the best and you know, the best way that I can to do my best. And that's that's all I'm doing, I'm trying to do. You know, just one day at a time, working my way, you know, seeing how this all rolls out. And I'm feeling souped right now. I really wish I could take a little rest, but I'll show you guys the uh, motel, but I don't know how much resting I'll really be doing in there. But for everybody that supported me, all the bands at Proud Mary's, everybody that, you know, thought enough to give me, you know, 20 bucks to help me, you know, fund my dream to have them me film their set 
to have the confidence in me. Really, everyone, thank you so much. It really meant the world to me because it helped me grow to where I am here. And I'm going to learn here and I'm going to absorb everything around me and I'm going to make myself better. And in the future, everyone else's projects better. Anyone who collaborates, you know, or anything else because my knowledge I'm just gonna keep learning and I'm not afraid to learn and I'm not afraid to do my best either so that's what I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out here doing it so for the dream you I don't know, I'm not from here, I'm from Atlantic City. I'm at 28. Now see right here, 12 eight. with the 7200, I can barely get the kid in. That's how big it is. Oh, that's good. Do a good job. Wow, fuck, I already know. You wouldn't be here if I didn't, if, you, if I knew you could. Wait, let me just see what I got for Thanks for following me on our road trip so far. We're in Joplin, staying at the Budget Inn, and come into the Mop God's room. Let me show you how this shit looks in here. Ooh, just like every other crappy shithole motel, we got ourselves a little refrigerator, microwave, this is our goodie box right here with all our food and our coffee. This is the lifesaver stuff right in here. Got our crackers, Snickers, coffee cups, napkins, fruit roll-ups, peanuts, all that kind of stuff. Got a pretty nice TV. Say, yee! Pretty nice bed. Somebody's going to be sleeping there. Got a big ass bed. Comes with no light shade on the light. And then this is what the Mop God has set out so far. You got to roll with your laptop as always. Shout out to Keep Flying, Nub TV, Goalkeeper, one of the, um, and the Red Meat Conspiracy, Red Meat Conspiracy out of Philadelphia, one of the boys who, uh, first. Um, supported me so shout out to them and uh, also you got to ask the uh, for some extra towels you know 
because really the towels that they gave us in here, like look at these little towels. She's like, I gave you towels already. They got some little tiny towels in here. It's like nothing like that we even want to deal with. And then over here, you got, I got my butt wipes, which you always need. These are number one on the road, eating road food. You never know what kind of explosive diarrhea you're going to have. So with that said, just got my other stuff thrown in here. And this is, uh, this is the bathroom in here. Nothing too great. Again, no window shade. Can't open up the window. Um, here's the shower. Beautiful tub and tile. Again, no light shade and some cracking. No light shade and cracking on the ceiling. So, awesome. You know what they did do? They did give us a full nice fresh roll of toilet paper. So, for that, A plus in my book. But thank you for coming on Mop God Mike's room tour with me. And um, I don't even know where the heck we're at right now. Oh, we're in Joplin, Missouri for the first day of the Redemption Tour. Spider Rockets, Puddle of Mud, Saving Abel. I don't know. Tantric. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Not in this vlog, but somewhere else. For the boys. You. Okay. Would I stay here again? Well, it was $55, all right? And last night I slept in the truck. I'm about um, over a thousand miles away from home, so maybe I'd stay here again. I'd have to think about it. Um, but it's not that bad. We'll see how I sleep tonight. We're right down the street from the gig, which is like the best. Like you, I can walk right from here over to the gig, which is part of this room's allure because you can easily just go and be at the gig right from there. It's awesome. So I would probably say I'd have to stay here. The owners were pretty nice. You know, I'd do it again, definitely. And other than that, I'll show you guys some of the other stuff around here. And if not, we'll be at the venue. And then you just walk out the door. There we go. And thank you for coming on the journey with me into room 125 at the Budget Inn for my room tour. You. I have my own channel on YouTube, so like, you know, like I'm like kind of like talking to my well, you audience. Know you, gotta, you gotta watch out that YouTube. Yeah, I know, you gotta watch out for it, you know? Yeah, because uh, they was talking about it. What were they saying? Oh, somebody stole a bunch of stuff from YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't like that. Yeah. All your, uh, all your, uh, you know, whoever's on it, you know? All yeah. Your and all that, you know? Oh yeah, your personal information. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, because they want to get and know you so that they can give you the best content. That's no, what they, they say. Steal stuff from you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, That's what the they do. About yeah. A weeks. I mean, about a month ago. I'm I'm not gonna let them steal from me. I'm gonna put. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give them a fake name. Well, maybe. Well, somebody. No, it wasn't. It was something else. But uh, you too. Uh, wherever the main deal is in YouTube. Uh-huh, in California, yeah. Well, they, uh, hello there, stranger. That's your friend? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he came from Morgan. He lived up Morgan for a while. Oh, no, West Coast. He, uh, no, this lady went in. Okay. This lady went in to the deal, and she shot a bunch of a few people, and then she killed herself. Oh, yeah. That's not fun. You know, no. you might as well just kill yourself. You know what I mean? You don't need but, to kill no, other people. No, they couldn't people. do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. They got to take a bunch of people yeah. with them. Yeah, And then they have to because they're going to get in Yeah, trouble. right, yeah. So why don't you just go, I mean, any of the schools and, you know, churches and all that. Uh -huh. They can't They can't just kill themselves. Yeah. So they got to go and shoot everybody. Yeah. I, and then they got to because they're going to be in prison federal forever. Prison for yeah. I mean, yeah. in prison for a while. Uh-huh. You know, so yeah, they rather really just go ahead and kill themselves. You know, and it's beautiful. That's what that is. It's beautiful out today, though. Is it always this nice here? No, or? sometimes it's cold. Yeah, it was cold yesterday. Uh, 
the wind. Yeah, it was wind. Yeah. It was really windy when we were coming here. Yeah, yeah. I was worried about that. Yeah. Okay, well, it's nice talking with you. Okay, have a good day. Okay. You have a good one. Thank you. Getting ready to take a shower before the show, and what else would we be listening to besides the boys? All right, got out the shower, all showered up. Got about an hour before uh, they hit the stage. I'm getting my stuff lined up just like I used to do back in the day when I played football and I was quarterback. Used to line all my stuff up. I'd visualize how the night was going to be, how the game was going to be, how everything was going to rock out. And that helped with my anxiety a lot to get through it with all the anticipation of a big event and something big going on. So taking that, I got my earplugs. Thank you, Leonardo Da Vinci of che Cheesy and the Crackers for schooling the boy on the earplugs. Thank you, Only on the Weekends. Only on Weekends. And Off Meds, Doc Rotten, The Greater Victory, The Natty D's, all the boys there. But thank you, Only the Weekends, for selling those at the show that you guys had at Proud Mary's and thank you Leonardo for recommending recommending since the boys relatively new into this and still kinda can hear in his ears to put them in so I don't have a constant ringing in my ears like at all times so thank you very much I'm gonna get ready to put my boots on and we're gonna get rolling for the dream you Alright, we are making our way out of the room right now. We are going to head our way across that parking lot over there to the venue in Joplin, Missouri. And we're going to check out the spider rockets. Man, look at this crowd up in here. The parking lot really filled up since we got here earlier today. I am thinking this is going to be a pretty big show. We'll see. Yew. Heavy parking lot life for the dream though, I guess.
Guys. This is fucking awesome. How happy are you that you just got that stick? Uh, pretty fucking happy, man. Is this your life's accomplishment or no? <laughs> I see you guys at Rocklahoma. Yeah. I'm gonna get another one at Rocklahoma. Oh yeah, that's my life. We're gonna get we're gonna get them to sign it. Alright. All right. What do you have to say about that? Uh fucking stoked, man. Fucking All right. stoked. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks, man. How do you feel about getting your stick? Is this your life's accomplishment? <laughs> How do you feel about the home too, right? Brothers that hold the sticks together are brothers forever, right? Yo, do you guys know each other? Yeah. Oh, you do? Really? All right. Are you? So, how do, are you brothers or what? Yeah. Really? Fuck you, man. Brothers from another mother? Is that how small of a town this is? Because I'm not from around here, we're so I don't know. Where are you from, man? We're from Kansas. I'm from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Oh. Yeah, we're from Kansas. Okay. Yeah. 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 Here. Why? Why am I here? Yeah. Because I'm I'm following them, the spider rock. Oh, so you're gonna be a rock Oklahoma? No, no. Aisle, ready.
All right, we had a fucking awesome night following the spider rockets out here all the way to Joplin, Missouri. Next stop, fucking Chicago, outside the venue. Tantric, they played a fucking awesome show. The crowd was vibing. Um, the whole show was pretty awesome. I want to say this is a step up, maybe. Like, just a little bit. Maybe I'm minor league now. I always thought I was semi-pro, but maybe I'm still semi-pro. Just like maybe in double A or something instead of in major league. For the dream. You.